Ryan Hildreth is what I like to call the double dip scammer. He just constantly scams people over and over. Now, how do I know this guy is a scammer? Uh, because he's been a scammer for years. And I actually covered this guy back in 2017 on my other channel. I had a cryptocurrency channel and Ryan Hildreth was one of the main top affiliates of the BitConnect scam. A lot of what helped me get to where I'm at and become a millionaire, which I just hit most recently, um, by the age of 26 was the mental and psychology aspect of you know success and life in general. That's right, today we are talking about Ryan Hildreth and how BitConnect and other scammy programs made him a cryptocurrency millionaire. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what BitConnect was, it was a giant pyramid scheme where basically people put their money into it and they would use the money from the people who joined first to pay the new people, and then those people would pay the people after them. It was a giant pyramid scheme uh, and it lasted for about a year. It was one of the most successful pyramid schemes that had ever existed in cryptocurrency at the time. And they got away, the creators of it got away with billions and billions of dollars. Ryan Hildreth was one of the top affiliates for BitConnect in the US. So it's amazing to me that anyone would ever want to take any advice from this known scammer. Now, Ryan was eventually sued uh, for by many people who lost money for BitConnect. He actually weaseled his way out of that lawsuit. I don't think he actually lost any money in that lawsuit, but he was sued because he was one of the top affiliates with BitConnect at the time. Now, he has since branched out. Uh, after the BitConnect scandal, he had a YouTube at, a channel at the time, and his YouTube channel pretty much like collapsed. He had like 300,000 subscribers, and I think at one point he got all the way down to 100,000 or maybe even less than 100,000. But since then, his subscribers have been dipping, and unfortunately, his channel just loses viewerships every day. Uh, and he had to delete, he had to turn off all comments on his videos because people were constantly leaving comments Ryan, where's my money? You stole my money, all this stuff like this. He had to turn off comments, but he stuck with it. He kept making videos, and apparently, most people have forgotten that he is the BitConnect scammer or one of the BitConnect scammers because his, his channel is now thriving again. He currently has 371,000 subscribers. Uh, and all of his videos currently are now about YouTube automation. Now, I've talked about YouTube automation in the past. It is a massive scam. The basic premise of it is they will teach you uh, that you don't need to work, you know, really hard to make a successful YouTube channel. All you need to do is like two or three hours of work a week. Very simple. You can hire someone in India. They will do voiceover videos for you. You don't have to show your, your face on camera. It's super easy. They'll just do it all for you. It'll take like two, three hours and you can make like $100,000 from it. Super simple. Obviously that is completely a lie. You can't actually do this. And the way that these guys actually make money is selling you a course teaching you about YouTube automation. They will give you some of the small details on their channel, which we're gonna take a look at in just a second. But if you want the full course, you fully know how to do it, you have to pay them hundreds, if not thousands of dollars uh, to get access to their course. Now, this is one of Ryan Hildreth's videos right here, uh, and I wanna play a brief portion of it, and I want you to pay close attention to what he, he's telling you to do in how to make a successful YouTube channel. I'll break it down why this is complete bull traction which could turn into dollars for you so the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna actually come over here to TikTok okay the reason why is because there's lots of content here on TikTok that is not on YouTube and we could utilize that content all right now what we're gonna do is we're literally going to um, you know go to this page make dot money work for you all right and it's a money motivation page has lots of you know speakers and um, you know different famous people like Shaq, Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, that, those types of people uh, speaking about you know making money, that kind of stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna download these videos and repost them on our YouTube Shorts. Now you may- Okay, so what he just said, which we'll talk about more in just a second, he wants you to steal other people's content. That is his master plan for you to have a successful YouTube channel just go on TikTok, find videos that have been super successful, steal all of their content, and then re-upload it on your YouTube channel. You don't have to put any work into it, guys. Just steal other people's content. Now, obviously, you cannot do that. YouTube does not allow that. Your channel will be taken down. But let's go forward and see what he says about that be saying well that isn't that copyright and if it is okay and if it does get flagged on YouTube as copyright that doesn't matter because we are not um, you know basically we are not generating ad revenue from these videos so it does not matter 
That's not true at all. It absolutely matters. It doesn't matter if your video is monetized or not. If you steal someone else's content, re-upload it on your channel as your own content, uh, it can be flagged by the original creator and you can get a copyright strike. Now, how YouTube works is if you get three copyright strikes uh, within a certain time period, I think it's a year, uh, your channel will be deleted, okay? Now, after the first one, after the first copyright strike, there's not too many difficulties that'll happen. After two, uh, you can't do live streaming, you can't get super chats. After three, within a year, your channel is completely deleted. All your work, all your subscribers, everything goes away. Doesn't matter if you're trying to monetize the video or not, if you're re-uploading someone else's content that is not yours, and they find out, and they issue a copyright strike on your channel, you're in big, big trouble. So I don't know why he would give advice like this because this is the worst advice you could possibly give. Okay, so next he's gonna give some even more terrible information about how you can easily make money uh, through affiliate marketing. So you're just gonna steal people's content, put it up, and then you're gonna put an affiliate link on there and make tons of money. Uh, I'll show you in the clip and I'll break it down why this is incredibly stupid advice. A million views with Mark Zuckerberg. We could uh, take this video, open it up in a new browser, copy the URL and come over here to this special tool called SnapTick. What's really interesting, he goes to this site called SnapTick and you can see this YouTube automation thing. This is a Google AdSense ad. This is Ryan Hildreth right here. You can see this is how he actually makes his money. YouTube automation coaching. He, he sells you a course that costs thousands of dollars he doesn't make money from his YouTube channels. He makes the majority of his money selling his actual course. It's really funny that he goes to this site and an ad for his own course shows up on that website. Where we're gonna paste the link here and press download. And that's gonna put the, the, put the TikTok video to our computer, okay? Which we could then upload it to YouTube short. And we're gonna come over here to YouTube, upload it, all right, and title it New Way to Make Money Online. You could even put 2022. And then we're gonna leave uh, space here for a special monetization link that's going to allow us to earn 800 upwards of $2,000 per day. So right now he's telling you, you know, 800, $2,000 a day with this special link, right? All of this is clickbait. So what he's about to show you will not make you any money at all. I guarantee you, I'll break it down exactly why, but what he's about to show you is specifically created to entice people who you know need money, they're in a bad situation, so they see these types of videos and they're like, wow, $2,000 a day, I wanna do this. But this won't actually make you any money, so listen to what he says. Okay, so once you have your video here, we're gonna come back to this, but this last platform is what's going to allow us to start earning tons of money from YouTube Shorts, all right? So we're gonna come over here to digistore24.com, which is an affiliate network where you could sell other people's products for a commission and you don't have to store any of the inventory or anything like that. You literally just paste the link. If someone clicks and buys, you get a commission, all right? We're gonna go on page two and there's a special offer here called CH Pro, which has a 40% commission and pays out $884 per sale, okay? So that's a huge commission there. And we're going to grab our link, all right, by pressing promote now. And we're gonna come back over here to the YouTube video, to the shorts video, and we're gonna say, um, you know, best business to start from home. And then we're gonna paste our affiliate link. Now okay, that does not work at all. You cannot go to an affiliate marketing site and just grab an affiliate marketing link to some random affiliate program on their site and then post it to your video and expect people to click on it and pay $800 for some course that they know nothing about. I have links in my video and the majority of people do not click on them, okay? And those are links that are specifically tied to my channel uh, and programs that I'm running. Now, I'm, not, I'm not selling any courses to anyone, but they're specifically tied to me, right? So if you're putting affiliate links to programs that you have no connection to, it's no connection to your video, it's just a random affiliate link, I guarantee you, you're gonna get almost no one who will click on that link. That is a terrible advice and you will not make any money doing that. All right, so lastly, let's take a look at this introductory video that he has on his channel that basically breaks down uh, what YouTube automation is and I'll break it down for you and why this is complete bull. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Boom, boom, boom. And 
and boom, these are all monthly payments that I get from four out of the seven YouTube automation channels that I built in the past 18 months. Okay, so what he just did was put up a bunch of random screenshots of different things that you can find on Google. I can go on Google right now and go boom, 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 and throw up a bunch of these screenshots that I have no connection to. And for people who, you know, don't do their own research and they just see this stuff and they're massively impressed by it, they'll think this guy made a bunch of money when in rela relation, these have no connection to him whatsoever. One thing you need to be clear of with all of these guys who do YouTube automation or whatever, they will never actually show you what their channels are, right? He says that he has multiple channels that are bringing in $100,000 a month for him and he'll show you these screenshots, but he will never actually show you the name of the channel. Now, most of these guys, if you, if you ask them in some capacity, be like, hey, what's the name of these uh, other channels that you have? Why, I'd like to go check them out. Most of them will be like, oh, I don't tell that to people because I don't want, you know, I don't want them to get brigaded by people who don't like me. They'll leave nasty comments or stuff like that. They'll come up with some sort of excuse like that, which is completely made up because obviously they can just delete any nasty comments. And what happens is if people leave comments on your videos, even if they're mean comments, it actually helps the video get more views. So there's really no reason why he, why he can't show you exactly what these channels are, other than the fact that he doesn't actually have all of these channels that are making him a bunch of money. Now, maybe you're wondering what exactly is YouTube automation? And YouTube automation is creating a YouTube channel with the clear intention of never filming a video, never editing a video, and never showing your face. All while collecting. Okay, so you don't have to show your face, you don't have to edit, you don't have to create any videos of your kind. So basically what he's gonna tell you is you can hire someone in India to do all this stuff for you. Now I want you to think about this. If there's a guy in India who can do all of this for you, edit, put together, film, all of this stuff for you, right? Why would he do it for you when he could do it for himself and make more money? Why does he need you? You're not doing anything. You're literally gonna pay him a couple bucks to make the videos for you. There's no reason for you to exist in this whole YouTube process when he can just cut you out and do all of it himself. Collecting tens of thousands of dollars every single month. Now, how am I able to do this? Well, frankly, I have a team of eight people doing all of the hard labor for me. In fact, at this point, I don't even upload any of the videos myself. The only thing I do is check in to see how much money my channels are making. So ultimately, like I said, YouTube automation is a complete scam. In many cases, what they're telling to you to do is legal, uh, like stealing other people's content and re-uploading it. If you do that, eventually your channel will get taken down. You'll get copyright strikes, you'll get taken down. Uh, in many cases, they tell you to make robot type videos where basically you have a robot voice. You don't have to film it yourself. You just have a robot who will, you know, actually talk during the video and you'll just put up other clips from other people's videos. You can't actually do robo type videos anymore. Uh, YouTube has put that in their contract that those are against the rules. You have to have an actual person talking. So most of these uh, methods that they teach you either are against YouTube's rules or just flat out don't work. Uh, like I said, the way that this guy, Ryan Hilders, actually makes his money is selling his YouTube automation course, which is several thousand dollars. And now I don't know why anyone would want to buy a course from a guy who is a known scammer. Like I said, this guy was one of the top affiliates for the BitConnect scam back in 2017. He is a known scammer. People lost millions of dollars because of this guy. He was promoting BitConnect. People got involved in it. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to get involved with this guy going forward but that's what it is. I, I'd love to hear your comments below. Uh, what do you think about Ryan Hildreth? What do you think about his YouTube automation program? I've shown you many times that YouTube automation does not work. I don't know why people get suckered into this and pay thousand dollars for information that is outdated and just flat out wrong. Leave your comments below everyone and I hope you enjoyed the video.